All right, so we have now printed a sample calibration piece, and we're going to talk about how to analyze that to tune your projector's output to give the best possible print quality. So let's go ahead and go to Settings, Printer Settings, and click on that. And uh, we're going to talk about today specifically uh, balance, fade, machine-specific multiplier, and normalization slope. So the first thing we want to do after we printed our first calibration piece here is we want to kind of uh, just kind of first look at it. And you'll notice there's a B minus, that's balanced to the negative, a B plus on the right, that's balanced to the positive, an F minus for fade to the negative or down, and an F positive for fade to the upside. So what I'm doing when I, when I look at a print like this is the, I, I want to get an overall sense on where that hot spot is. If the hot spot is over here to the left, then these, these, um, these pegs or squares or whatever they are, they will tend to be larger on the left side than they are on the right side. Uh, likewise, if, if the hot spot is too high, the ones on the top would tend to be larger than the ones on the bottom. So we, we kind of look, uh, maybe use a, a caliper or something to measure these, but you're trying to determine whether, whether we're printing too fat on the left or too fat on the right versus the top and the bottom. So let's say we've looked at this, <clears throat> and for some reason uh, these pegs in the upper right-hand corner uh, tend to be the fattest. So I would first look at the right side versus the left, and say, yeah, because these are thinner over here on the left, <clears throat> I want to move the balance towards the negative. So if you come over here and you look at the um, uh, balance, you see that it's zero. Zero is centered. Uh, to move it towards the left, I want to, would want to make it a little bit negative. So I'll click this uh, down arrow here, and now it says negative 0.05. That would be 5%. Um, the maximum is 100% to the left or 100% to the right. Uh, typically, you won't have to shift the balance too much. Maybe um, 20% or 20 to 30% would be a good starting point. Uh, as far as the, the fade, you'd do a similar thing. If you thought that the, the bottom ones were a little fat, maybe you'd move it towards the positive and you would go maybe 10%. Uh, <clears throat> 10% F positive if the bottom ones were fat. So that's the first, the first goal of the calibration print is to balance it with the, uh, with the balance in the fade to where it's printing evenly left versus right and uh, bottom versus top. I would go ahead and save those settings and then print another one of these and see did we correct correctly the, the fade and the balance issues. Once you've reached, uh, determined the settings to, to where the left and the right are printing evenly, then we would say that the, that the centering uh, tuning is done. Okay, so let's say we've done that. After correcting the fade and the balance in order to center the hot spot, the next thing we want to look at is the power output of the projector. And the way we calibrate that is we, we focus on these features in the center. Uh, these, are, these pegs here are two millimeters in diameter, so we'll want to measure those. And if for some reason they're a little bigger than two or a little smaller than two, then we're going we're gonna to increase or decrease the machine-specific multiplier, or the MSM. So if you look over here, the, uh, the default MSM setting is 1.0. But let's say that, that these pegs were just a little too large. I would turn the MSM down to maybe 95% of normal, so 0.95 as you see here. Um, what that'll do is that'll actually decrease the exposure time by about 5% if I use that value. And that, that decreased exposure time will actually result in these pegs being a little bit smaller in diameter. So I would I would select the setting there and then print this out again and remeasure it. And I would, I would continue to do that until I got the pegs to the diameter that I wish them to be. Um, and that would complete the, uh, the second portion of the 
tuning of the projector and that is the MSM. Once that is done, I would then look at the peg diameters on the outer corners and see how they are. If they are larger than two uh, millimeters, then that's a sign that the slope needs to be decreased. Um, so that's, that's the last or the third setting, normalization slope. It's also defaults to 1.0. But if, uh, if we need to turn those down to make the, turn that down to make these pegs smaller on the outside corners, that's where we would do it. Um, it. Likewise, if they were too small, we could increase that slope and that would increase the duration of the exposure on the outside corners versus the middle. So once again, in summary, the first step to tuning the projector is to change the fade and the balance until the um, outer pegs are even compared to each side and top and bottom. Then we would change the MSM or the machine specific multiplier until the diameter of the pegs in the middle are correct. And then finally we would increase the slope or decrease the slope so that the diameters of the pegs on the outer corners are also correct. And once that's done, uh, your prints should, should form equally well no matter where in the build area they end up being placed. Once you're done with that, of course, you'd want to click Save Values to ensure that these values are saved. And these values are not saved on your host computer. They are actually saved inside of your printer. So if you were to move your printer to a different computer, it would still remember those values and, and print correctly.